In this video, I'm going to show you how to destroy Cover 4. Now, we're also going to destroy every other defense in the game, but Cover 4 is becoming meta for a reason, and we're going to show you how to destroy it in this video. What's good, guys? I just want to let you know that today we're going to be taking a look at Gun Tight in the Detroit Lions playbook. If you would like to get my entire Detroit Lions offensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It'll get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. And we're dropping a brand new ebook this week. So make sure you're in the Patreon. The link is in the description down below. All right, guys, so let's talk about destroying Cover 4. Cover 4 is becoming meta for a lot of reasons. Like I said in the, in the beginning, we're going to destroy every other coverage in the game by far, but Cover 4 drop, Cover 4 match, you can't run that on this field with what we're about to teach you. So, um, again, gun tight, Detroit Lions playbook. I'm going to set Cover 4 as an audible, make sure my match is set to on, and let's get on the field against Cover 4 drop. So, like I said, Cover 4 is becoming a very popular meta. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, utilizing this play drive corner. Now, you do not need Hot Route Master whatsoever. We're not going to need any special route abilities, anything. Um, this is going to work perfectly. Now, what I would recommend is putting someone here, put your best, best route runner here. So, for me, I'm going to put Steve Smith right here. Um, put your best route runner there. Short and elite is helpful, um, but just put your best route runner there, okay? All right, drive corner, and let's get on the field. So um, in this example here, we are on the left hash mark. Now, I want to show you how this play works to the left hash mark. What you're going to notice is that this play, if I'm on the left hash, is not going to be as good as if I was on the right hash, and I'll explain why in a second. What you're going to see here is that the cover four is going to play pretty decently, right? It's going to take this away. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the play, and this is the importance of hash marks in Madden. So now I'm just flipped to play. So now Taysom Hill is running the route, and we're on the left hash, and he's going to run this corner route to the wide side of the field against cover four. And what you're going to notice here is it's going to play completely different and I'm going to be able to throw this over the top for a pretty big play and have a chance to be able to make a, a big play or a touchdown out of it. So you want to run the corner route to the wide side of the field. Um, so the corner route needs to be being ran, if you will, to the wide side of the field. That's going to be very helpful for you. All right. So now what you're going to see, you're just going to snap this ball and this thing is just going to kill cover four over the top. Big time play. If we can catch the ball. Um, if you're having issue with that right there, then just, just freeform it. Um, so I'm going to freeform basically up and outside. And you see he's going to catch it. And bada bing, bada boom. Big time play against cover four. Now, this is even better. This is even better of a play if your opponent is doing something like this, where their base align, if, if my defense will cooperate, where their base align and pressing their cover four, right? Because they're trying to stop. What they're trying to do when they do this is they're trying to stop short side flood concepts. They're trying to stop short side flood concepts to the right. Uh, but anyway, what you'll see right here is, again, same basic formula, and we're able to throw this over the top for a one play score against cover four. So it's very valuable play against cover four. Now, I did want to spend a few minutes talking with you about uh, match coverage, and then we'll get into some of the rest of the basic defenses that you're going to see um, as they find out that they can't really run cover four against you. So if they're running cover four uh, match, uh, cover four match against compression, it is much different to the two receivers, to the non-running back side. So if you look to the right here, my running back, my tight end, and my receiver are to the right. That's three receivers. On the left side, that's two receivers. And you're going to notice that it's going to play very differently. And I'm going to explain it. So um, what you'll see here is he's going to get kind of isolated on the safety. Now, there I need to highball that over the top to kind of make sure that it gets over the top of the of the safety. A lot of times he'll actually beat him worse than that. Um, but anyway, you'll see here, if I run this 10 out of 10, I'm going to get that little, that little mismatch right there, and then I can just freeform it to the outside and, again, be able to put match in a really difficult stop or difficult spot uh, to be able to defend this, okay? So uh, now I'm going to show you uh, one other difference. Okay, so there's only one other little thing. Um, now I'm just going to move the running back. Okay, so I'm just going to move the running back to the left. I'm not making any other adjustments on the play. You're going to notice this is going to play completely different. Now I still am actually able to have a shot at getting that. I actually had a, a chance there to get that over the top. 
But my big point here is if I motion anyone to the left, whether it be the number one receiver, the number two receiver, it puts us in a position where match can have a chance to make a play. So that does affect this a little bit um, from a totality of setup. We're still going to be able to get this over the top by and large. See right there, kind of put the ball into a nice spot, but it's a much tighter window. Okay, so what I like to do is I would like to be able to motion Cooper Cup on it, put him on a slant and then motion him across. And what you'll see is if they're in cover four drop, this is still going to play really, really well. We're still going to pretty much annihilate cover four drop on our field if we can catch if we can catch the ball. Um, you know, we're, we're still going to annihilate cover four drop on the field. OK, so I'll show you again. Motion them over. And again, if you are having issues where the receivers, this has to do with Steve Smith being short, um, just straight up highball it and he'll be fine. OK, just don't highball in free form. And, you know, it is what it is. OK, so now let's go back to match coverage. So what we're doing when we motion over Cooper Cup is we're basically turning this into bunch tight end. And in bunch tight end, they're going to play a little differently than they would against compression as far as how match just overall works. So here we actually get a really good animation, and he's able to get over the top of the cover four. Okay, so just kind of saying that to beware. But what the slant adds to this play is a lot of different things. Um, by putting the slant on this play, it does a lot for the play. It makes the play very consistent against man coverage because even if they drop help on the left you've got this quick speed out you've got this post you've got this slant i mean it's a really hard play to defend the running back table route is kind of a low key underrated or under radar route that is really good for checkdowns because when most people are, what most people are going to have to do when you start to run something like this is they're going to have to go to cover three but what you'll notice is a couple of key things these out, this out route to the left and this table route to the right, they're gonna pull these zones out of the way and you can throw the slant as a check down into that little pocket. Now the other hidden piece of this play um, against zone is this. So the other hidden piece of this play against zone, again, it's only one hot route and a quick motion across, um, is Taysom Hill's route. What you're gonna notice is if he runs this well, it's gonna be almost like a slant post combo, and I can fit that right into that little pocket right there. So very good because they can't user everything that you have, um, everything that you can go to, everything that you can get to from this. Now, if you have Hot Route Master or tight end whatever or Slot Apprentice, you can put him on a post. It is helpful um, just because he's going to get deeper down the field. So you'll see here they're going to go with that deep corner, and then you can throw that Taysom Hill post in behind it. But again, you don't have to have that, okay? The play still works great uh, without it. Gun tight, I think, is a clear-cut top at least one or two offenses um, in the game this year. It's just such a good offense, such a good formation. Um, the one defense that can uh, kind of a little bit give this trouble um, is cover four drop. But when you start to mix in plays like this, when they start to run a heavy dosage of cover four drop, you're going to find a lot of success uh, in gun tight. So I want to thank you uh, for watching the video. If you want to get more on the gun tight, make sure to join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Thanks for watching the video, and we hope to see you over at the Patreon page.